Hello and welcome to day four of the voice challenge. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about an old school technique using a bone prop. So bone props were super popular back in the days of elocution, of good speech, um, and they would typically be placed in between the teeth. So it's like a small piece of, um, at the time, bone. We're talking like the early 1900s, bone in between the teeth in order to hold the teeth open, in order to do these like elocution drills. The bone prop went out of favor. It came back in favor. And the thing is that there are some moments where these old school exercises are quite useful. I myself, though, I don't use a bone prop. I like using your thumb, <laughs> my thumb, um, because if you pop your thumb in your mouth, like so, not too far in, just to hold the teeth open. As you do the exercises, you will actually feel if your jaw is getting involved because you'll um, bite down on your thumb. Um, and if you're biting down on your thumb, that's a sign that the jaw is getting involved and that extra tension is creeping in. So what we wanna do with the thumb in the mouth is Think that the teeth are lightly resting on the thumb, but they're not biting into the thumb. We can encourage this through some imagery in our mind. <laughs> so we can think like the jaw is melting like warm butter, or perhaps um, having that image of uh, getting into a bath after a long day of work. So that real sense of release with the jaw. So you're gonna pop your thumb in the mouth in between the teeth, and you're going to slowly allow the jaw to release. Okay, now just check your posture here. You don't wanna to be too far forward. You don't wanna to be too far back. So finding some nice posture with the head, shoulders hanging loose. And we're gonna start with the tip of the tongue. So the tip of the tongue is going to rise up. It's going to hit the gum ridge behind the teeth. And it is going to make contact and it's going to leave the gum ridge. And essentially we're making the letter T, the consonant T, okay? So it's gonna look a little bit like this. Once again, check in. Are you biting down on your thumb? Let's change that now to a D sound. So it's the same action, but it's the voiced consonant D. So we're gonna be going D, D, D. We'll move to the blade of the tongue. The blade of the tongue is going to rise up. It's going to not touch anything, actually. It's gonna come close to the gum ridge and it's going to release. So we end up with a y yeah sound. Thumb back in the mouth. Y yeah. Y yeah. Y yeah. Once again, the jaw is releasing. And you can just have that image of the tongue moving completely independently from anything else in the mouth. Finally, we're going to move to the back of the tongue and we're going to make a k sound. The back of the tongue will rise up and it will make contact with your soft palate in the back of your mouth. So we're going to have the thumb in the mouth again and Finally, we'll change that to a g. So the voiced version of k is g. Same exact action. The back of the tongue lifts up. It 
makes contact with the soft palate on a G, and we continually think releasing the jaw. So thumb is in the mouth, G, G, G. Great. Check in with your jaw. Has anything changed? Oftentimes I find that this helps rewire the signals from my brain to my jaw and my jaw starts to release. Kind of says, oh, I don't actually need to tense up while I'm speaking. I can let the tongue do most of that work and my jaw can just hang loose. The other thing that you might be feeling is a real sense of precision within the tongue. So we focused on the tip of the tongue movement, da, 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 the blade of the tongue movement, yeah, yeah, and the back of the tongue movement. K, k, g, g. So you're getting into all of these little parts of the tongue and isolating them um, for more precise speech. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.